Hello and welcome to Dark Age Growing. Oh my gosh, I have potatoes with long sprouts. Guess it's time to find out what do we do with potatoes that have sprouted in the cupboard and really might have overdone it. So a chitted potato like this one or even this one is more what I would want to be going for versus what I'm planting today. Plants need to get in the ground so you have something later in the year. In particular, oh, you saw my cupboard. These plants have been, oh, needing to get planted for quite some time now. I feel I need to have a little talk with you guys. There's a lot of fear and a lot of news and a lot of hype going on right now. But planting still needs to happen. And it'll help things out in the long run. Just get out there, plant something. And, uh, pay attention to what's going on. But not to the exclusion of what needs done. Because a lot needs done. So, I know that I'm putting a lot of these <sighs> kind of close together. I don't know what they're going to do for me. <laughs> they're... So... I've just been out here working kind of fast. I've got uh, five rows of potatoes, about six feet long. Um, there's one, two, three, four, five. Uh, that would make it. Uh, about five feet and yeah, by by seven actually uh, this area right here about five foot by seven so 35 square feet uh, like I said I wasn't really spacing these potatoes perfectly as it is they're over well started in the cupboard carry potatoes <laughs> viney potatoes whatever We'll give them a shot, see what they do. Plant them about three inches deep. And as they start growing up, I will pile a little bit more on top of it just to keep the potato heads from being green as they're growing. Or potato heads. Just cover up the potatoes. Tubers. There we go. Tubers. Before I get a bunch of comments about it, you try using a rake one-handed and holding a video camera in the other. It's not that easy. At any rate, if you've got the space, get those long sprouted potatoes in the ground, plant them up and they'll grow good. Please subscribe and click the bell. And if you get the chance, drop me a comment down below asking me a question. I'd love to hear what you guys really want to know about growing your own food, self-sustainability, or what's happening in the world.